People experience online hate all the time in their everyday mm. lives. What advice would you want to give those people who suffer from that on a daily basis? Oh, I would say, don't look at it. Even things like Instagram, which is kind of toxic a little bit, because it's like, oh God, do I need to look perfect all the time? Like I've got a face this, I've got to do this to my picture. You don't have to do that. Embrace it. Don't, be who you are and just love who you are. Welcome back to Glam with me, Josh Smith, and today we're joined by all round queen of Little Mix, turned fashion hunt for the Umbro campaign, Yay! Leanne! Hi! How are you? I'm good. And it's... we're joined by a special guest today. Oh, gosh. This is Harvey, everyone. He doesn't leave my side, unfortunately. He's dead so. needy. He's dead needy. Yeah. Now, this is your first solo interview. Oh, my gosh, yes. How does it feel stepping out on your own? It feels a bit weird. Yeah, I mean, we're so used to always being together. Mm. Um, and there's always someone to kind of like fall back on or rely on. But yeah, it's nice to kind of like step out on my own a bit. And I mean, I just love fashion in general. So to obviously be the face of Umbro is just incredible. And you yeah. are working it. Oh, thank you. She is working it. And you look amazing in the campaign. Oh, yeah. And what's something I was reading about what you said recently was that you used to feel invisible. Mm. And then how much would this campaign have helped you when you were growing up? I think? feel, yeah, I feel like it would have definitely helped. I think. I just feel privileged to be able to be the face of it and if anything kind of help girls that do look like me like, mm. it's not unreachable it's not impossible like anything is possible and it definitely would have helped a lot and as i say there's so much like movement now because we've launched this campaign at glamour called blend out bullying mm. which is all about trying to eradicate online hate because how have you dealt with trolls online i'm not gonna lie um the first three years of being in the group i would look for it i would search Liam, oh my god. Oh, babes. Come here, come here. Oh, hon. Sorry. Oh, fake. No, it's not. <laughs> it's amazing what you're doing. Game pace. We are here. We are here. Right. You're amazing. Thanks. So don't worry. We're all here to support you. Thank you. I would look through Twitter and I would search Leanne from Little Mix the black girl and little mix. I would literally put those in my search engines. Um, and just to see the comments, mm. like, oh, it, it's honestly, it's, I regret doing that so much, but I mean, I'm here now and I just feel so much stronger. And so no, I don't feel like that anymore. I don't do that anymore. Like I don't look for it. Um, I want to be someone to, like she kind of, she got through that, like she mm. was that person. And now, honestly, I'm just so proud of who I am. And like, it's such a good feeling. Because you've gone on that journey of self-discovery, like we were saying. Yeah. And it's difficult because every single person goes through this. Every single person exactly. is confused about their identity yeah. or they don't feel comfortable in their own skin for yeah. whatever reason it is. Mm. And I think it's important to show people that you are just like everyone else. Yeah. And you, you go yeah. on that journey. And you will get there. Like everyone will get there. It, but it does take time. Like it take it took me so so long. Um but now I'm just like honestly, I don't care what anyone has to say about me anymore. Mm. And it's just such a good place to be in. But obviously I get upset because like I remember that girl, so but I mean I'm still going through things now. Like we, you're never like a hundred percent certain are you you're never like 100 percent now i think there's always going to be some things to kind of get me down and get to me but well we're never always finished projects, no right? we're not exactly we're always on this we're all on this learning experience together exactly now. and you're going to go through the down times as well as the up times mm. and it's just remembering that everything in life is transient right exactly and you go through these periods yeah. in your life and it's also made you a stronger person oh my gosh yeah i'm so much stronger so much and like I say I don't look for those comments anymore you can't you cannot do it to yourself because we were just saying that we all go on journeys of self-discovery yeah and learning to love ourselves mm -hmm. what has your journey been like on that journey of discovering your love for yourself because yeah. I imagine it's so difficult to also do that in the public eye as well oh my gosh I think for the first three years of getting thrown into this crazy world I was still kind of like working out where I kind of fit in mm. like it was a bit of a, of a weird feeling because I did feel, as I say, I did feel a bit invisible. Um, I didn't really know why. I didn't know why I felt like that. And I, I, I know it just took me a bit of time to actually process it. And, and I think that what I spoke about um, 
that was just the way I interpreted it and it was the way I felt. When I spoke about it, I got so many messages just oh. saying how brave I was and it really helped a lot of black girls. And like, for me, knowing that I did that, I was just like, oh, I'm just, I was just so happy that I did it. And it, it almost felt like a weight had lifted off my shoulders. It was a good feeling and I think it needed to be said. Because it's so incredible to be able to use your platform mm. and be a role model and help people out there. Like it's yeah. such an amazing way of furthering conversation. Mm. But did you ever have any reservations about speaking out about your experiences? I think there was some reservations because I was scared to say the wrong thing. Um, I didn't want to offend anyone. Um, and also because it is so sensitive and it was hard for me to put it into words because um, it was like a personal thing as well, a situation mm. that I spoke about. Um, but as I say, I'm really happy that I did because it's only really going to help people, isn't it? Mm. And like, as I say, it's opening the conversation and making, hopefully making people feel braver to speak about it themselves. And it's just so important to speak up on these issues mm. because the more people that do, I'm telling you, the more change is going to happen. Um, and I've got the most incredible fan base, like, oh my gosh and they like pick me up and they're just incredible. Um, yeah, and we do it for them. Like, mm. this is why we, who we are, like Little Mix. Like, we literally are for our fans and they're the best. Yeah. I think what's so incredible about the band is you have empowered women. Mm. How has that journey of feminism music changed for you since going into the band to now? Mm. Well, I feel like at the beginning, the word feminist, like we didn't use it and we were kind of told not to actually, um, just in case it was too controversial, like to be fair, like we were really young, like I don't think we really were as much clued up as we are now on things. Now it's kind of like, well actually we are feminists, like I am and I'm so, I'm proud to say that and Damn I think, right. right, and I think as obviously we're a lot wiser now and things that happened back then like really make sense now. So like at the beginning, um, when we was on the show um, on X Factor, we were told girl bands, they don't do well. Like, they just don't. And we were nearly not gonna get through. But the producers didn't wanna put us through because they were just saying like, what's the point? They're not gonna, they're not gonna do, like, achieve anything. They're not gonna do well, they're a girl band. But um, Talisa actually like, stood up for us and I mean, we proved them wrong, right? We, we won the bloody show, oh like. Oh God, Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we proved them wrong. At the time, we didn't really think too much into it, but now we're like, gosh, that was really bad. Mm. Like, you can't just put all women in a box like that. Like, who's to say we weren't gonna win? Like, who's to say we weren't gonna do well? So yeah, things like that kind of made us think, actually, like, yeah, nah, like we, we, we need to speak up more. We need mm. to actually, like, talk about what happened to us then, and but definitely. But how much is having this really powerful, amazing sisterhood around you helped you? Oh my gosh, like even sitting here now, like I feel like, where are my girls? Yeah. Like, it's so weird. Um, I love them so much and yeah, so lucky to have that. I think it's so ne like necessary, especially in this industry. You need people around you and like, oh, I couldn't do it on my own. Because I also think as well, it's like what you guys have shown is you're such incredible friends. Yeah. And in the face of people still asking ridiculous mm. sexist questions, like, you're in a girl band, so surely you're looking to yeah. each other. Yeah, oh my gosh. Or, oh my god, are you really actually friends? Or they just ask you about your boyfriends Ugh, or whatever. Yeah. Has, is the conversation and the questions you're getting asked changing? Um, 100%. Yeah. I feel like this new campaign, we are literally, we are talking so much more and being so much more um, vocal about issues that are going on in the world. And it feels, it just feels really good. Like, it feels good to be able to actually speak about something that matters. I don't want to talk about my bloody boyfriend. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, and I think the campaigns before, like, it was mainly focused on stuff like that, and it was just mm. like, oh, for God's sake. But um, it's so refreshing to be able to talk about things that matter. Yeah. Honestly. And also, yeah. you're powerful women in your own right. Yes. Right. Yeah. You don't need to be defined by, oh, you're going out of X, Y, or Z. I oh mean, my gosh. Who right. Cares? Be defined by someone you're with. Like it's bullshit. No. Yeah. No. Not in this day and age. No. 2019, guys. Right? Wake up. Mm. But what would you want to say to, say, a young guy or girl out there who still feels quite unrepresentative? What would you want to, advice would you want to give to them? The more women that, or the more people, I should say, that do speak out about it and not let anything hold you back, especially the colour of your skin. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, that shouldn't be anything to hold mm. you back. If anything, like, I'm so proud of my skin. And, yeah, I just, I think you literally just have to go for it. I, never let anyone tell me anything like growing up and I knew I wanted to be a singer I would literally say it to every single person that entered my life I'm going to be a singer I'm going to be on billboards 
I'm going to smash it. And you just have to. You've got to put it into the universe and you've got to be positive and just not let anything hold you back, basically. Mm. And that's such an Honestly. amazing message because mm. at the end of the day, you are slaying it Aww, in this Umbro campaign. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you're you. an incredible role model. Keep doing what you're doing because yeah. it's going to really help people out Aww. there, babe. And you're an incredible, incredible person. Oh, you're going to make me Thank cry you so again. Much for <laughs>